Hey guys, how's it going? Today I'm going to just make a, sh a quick little video about making a, an 11 degree target crown on this rifle barrel. Uh, before I get started, feel free to check out my other videos. I have over 100 other videos on different stuff including uh, gunsmithing, some machining, and, and cars, and all sorts of good stuff. And uh, it's a good, good entertainment. But here we go. Here's what we got going on today. This is a barrel that um, somebody put a goofy thread at the end of it. I don't. It was like a three quarter twenty eight or something on a twenty two caliber barrel, which is kind of an odd threading. But I cut it off, and I'm just going to do an eleven degree target crown on this guy. So what we did here is I I faced this, or I didn't face it off, but I cut it, the end off with a parting tool, and. There's the threaded portion that I just cut off. And let's see, I'm gonna take a look. I don't even know what kind of a, there's a bunch of gunk and crap on the end of that muzzle anyway, so it's not really that great. So what we got set up here is I got my, here I'll zoom back out a little bit here. I got my compound here set at 11 degrees, and this is gonna give us our 11 degree target crown. Um, this is actually one of the easiest crowns to do on a lathe. Um, and if you have PTG makes a, a tool, piloted tool that you can run in there with your tail stock that makes it even easier. But I think this is pretty simple too. Uh, first step, we, being that our, we had our a decent muzzle in here before or a decent uh, bore to go off of, I stuck an indicating rod in there, and then with the four jaw, we dialed it in to. I think I had this in with one ten thousandths, or sorry, a couple ten thousandths. Uh, so it's maybe uh, it was one or two ten thousand so it was pretty damn close to zero and then my my outboard I got my spider set up and then I set that in within a couple ten thousand so we got this guy running pretty much dead true so trued it in our lathe or got it set up in our lathe parted it off with a parting tool and now it's I mean it's pretty simple all we're gonna do is come in here with our our a tool and I'll zoom in so you can kind of see what's going on here. Let that focus in for a second. And we're just going to start cutting away. Um, I usually like to start on the inside here. You can go in sideways a little bit. I'm just moving, I'll back this out so you can see kind of what I'm doing. And now I'm just pulling back on the compound. So I'm feeding in, feeding in and out with the compound, and then I go back in towards the muzzle end, and I'll feed back out again. Feed in. And you usually want to start from the inside out because then, otherwise, if you start from the outside in, you'll get a burr. And I can zoom in here. And, sorry, my zoom isn't the greatest, but. Cutting oil will never hurt nothing. So that is pretty much the edge of our barrel there. And I'm going to go back in and Take one more final cleanup cut here. I'm just going to go ever so slowly, as slow as I can, just taking a super light cut. Taking maybe a couple ten thousandths of material, two, three, uh, probably five or six ten thousandths, just a super light little skim. Trying to get a good finish on there from the lathe. So then we'll just shut it off and take a look at it quick. Make sure I got all the way out and I, I'm where I want to be. So I'm all the way out to the edge. The inside looks good there. So next step, if you watch one of my other videos, you see in this guy, this is a little, this is what this tool is made for. I'm finally going to use it. I made this, check this out in one of my other videos. Got just a tiny little bit of lapping compound on there. And so what you're going to do is just kind of touch that in there a little bit, get that lapping compound in there, and 
slowly, ever so gently, barely any pressure at all. I'm just gonna roll that guy around in there. Now, what that's gonna do is that it's gonna knock the edge off of that the land or the the lands in the rifling. So then we're not gonna have a burr in there. It doesn't take very much. That's probably more than enough. Alright, there we go. That's how you use that guy. So now I'm gonna grab a paper towel. I'd like to get that compound off of there. Most of it out of there, out of the way. Okay. Then what I like to do, here's just a, a fine file. And I like to take the edge of that. Some guys put a chamfer on there. I like to just round that off a little bit. I've done a lot of rifles like this and they've all shot extremely well. So if you don't agree with it, that's fine too. So I'm just gonna shut it off and check it now. We got a nice radius on the outside and I'm looking in you probably can't see it from your angle but I got an ever so slight little chamfer on the edge of my rifling so that's pretty much it I mean we could go through there and and uh, run you know if you're sometimes your bits are super sharp and they work really good and they give you a nice finish but I like to come in here with a little bit of 320. And all we're doing is putting a finish on that part we cut. Come back over the outside a little bit. And then here's my 600. I like to go to 600 because I think it looks nicer. Some guys will do stop at 320, but the nice thing about 600 is you can see how smooth you are. This, this is a matte finish, so I'm gonna come back. So you can see I got a few little tiny light spots, and come back to 320. Just finish it with that because this is a matte finish barrel on this guy, so I'm just gonna leave it at a 320. It'll match up. It'll still be a little shinier than the rest of it, but it'll match up quite a bit better versus a 600. So here we go. That's it. Not much to it. Put a little cold blue or whatever you want to put on there if you're going to refinish it. So that's it. That's your 11 degree target crown. Hope you guys enjoyed that. If you liked it, please feel free to share, subscribe, comment, like it, whatever you want to do. Check out my other videos, like I said before, and subscribe. I like subscribers. And if you're free and charitable, you can always donate to my channel. Every penny and nickel and dime I put towards this stuff. So. It's all coming right back to you guys. So, till next time, be safe, have fun, and see you guys later. Thanks.